Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now we will see how to do pushover analysis in SAP 2000. In previous tutorials, I have shown how to do pushover analysis in ETAPS 2016. In that tutorial, I have explained details about pushover analysis. Now we will go directly to the steps for SAP 2000. First, we will finalize or design the structural member. We'll run the analysis and design. Here, the analysis speed is faster in SAP than ETABS comparatively more than ETABS. Now we can design this one. We will use here is a three one eight fourteen. We'll run for design. After the design, it will show the required reinforcement or design reinforcement for the structural members. If there is any failed member, we have to modify that member section to make it pass then we will go for pushover analysis remember that this reinforcement data will be saved in sap for using that reinforcement values for pushover analysis so after unlocking this we will go for pushover analysis after unlocking this we we may think that the analysis result or design result for reinforcement has been deleted but that is not true that last design result always saved in the program until the program is alive okay if you close this program then it will be deleted now we will go for pushover analysis define load case and we will go for load case First, we will convert this one in nonlinear static load case. Here, converted load to nonlinear static load case so that program use this case as the starting point for the pushover. Okay, all other things we will keep as same as it is. Okay, then we will add the pushover dot case for x and y direction add new lip dot case t a x then this one nonlinear static analysis pushover analysis is nonlinear static analysis so nonlinear static we will keep here here this one continue from state at end of nonlinear case we will use date as we have defined is it as the initial nonlinear static case so acceleration u works scale factor 1 mass source this one displacement control we will use here we will see this push for 300 millimeter and joint we will see the joint here this one number 116 so for this node we will give the target displacement load case this one here we will see 116 okay then this one multiple steps nonlinear parameter this will keep as it is by default add copy upload case p a y all this same just we will change this one okay done 
now here we we have changed this one we have to modify this so that it can be changed okay done now we have to assign hinge properties select the properties being then go for assign at the frame hinges auto in etabs we have provided the relative distance 10% or 0.1 so that it is starting at the 10% distance from starting point of the member here we will provide 0 0.05 that means 5% to 95% here it is concrete beam is compo here PAX other things we will keep same see here reinforcing ratio if row balanced will be used from current design so last design data or reinforcement design will be used here okay then add another hinge for PAOI okay 95% distance add hinge this one so this for yes add hinge this one PAX okay another one PAY so apply close now we will select the columns assign frame hinges 05 add hinge concrete column this one case PAX okay add hinge same only direction change now 95% add PAX ok add hinge PA Y ok apply close now we will go for the next step now then select all beam and columns assign hinge overrides this will discretize the member and can give better result so we will select all the member beam and column then assign frame hinge over right auto subdivide parameters ok hinge behavior parameter at hinges auto subdivide line object at hinges ok apply In the next step, we will go the go for the load cases to run the analysis, and we know that linear analysis is used to design the section sizes of the member, and non-linear analysis is used to observe the design structures behavior. So here we will run only the non-linear static analysis to observe proper structure behavior for defined push displacement and other linear plot cases we will not run here so click on this here this will be run live load do not run model do not run this do not do not only PAX nonlinear spectra uh, nonlinear static and dead nonlinear static will run after finishing the analysis we will see the pushover result 
we will see the shape deformed shape for push along x direction and y direction and observe what hinges are forming operational level immediate occupancy life safety this collapse preventing point then collapsing point d and e point from the curve here immediate occupancy life safety cp c d e here we will see this go to different shape e x step one okay it is like this then step two apply here in this font here is the color diagram for identifying the hinge state here you see from b to c there is an immediate occupancy level life safety level collapse preventing level this is this all are called the building performance level so this here we have see b are the nodes within this limit this hinges then step 3 like this step 4 so up to 4 step here generated for the push for 300 millimeter in y direction we will see apply in y direction there are a lot of hinges generated for this B2 immediate occupancy level in step 2 here we have got some hinge in this C2 within the range C to D that means he starting collapse from D to E there are some and in the E there are lot of hinges at the bottom story now we will see the static pushover curve this one here you see how the base shear drops as the hinges from forms and this different stage we can also see plot atc capacity spectrum see how this drops as the hinges goes into different stages. Now we can display hinge result. Show hinge results here. Select hinge here the hinge list. This is one hinge list that is for defined that is defined for beam as it is M3 and PM to M3 we have defined for column. We will check this one along the x direction will plot it along the hinge backbone at left right top and bottom border this is the hinge path for the different steps of pushover analysis step one here you can see the hinge properties here two three like this you can see for columns also step one two three four five six seven eight nine they are the properties and they are the hinge step done so in this way we can do pushover analysis in SAP 2000 thanks for watching Stay tuned for more important tutorials. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.